In my school, I used to be an average performer. One fine day, the principal of my school called me in his office. He was very furious and I was very nervous. Suddenly, he pulled me towards him and laughed. From those chills running down my body to moving to a comfort zone was a great relief. He told me something and I still carry it with me till date. Sukhdeep, I really believe in you and you know what? You can be in one of the top performers in the upcoming board exams. He actually meant leaving those average marks to cross that 90% barrier. This act of his really motivated me to push my boundaries, go beyond and achieve that target. But you know what? Here marks does not matter. But what I learnt is, if a guy who is not expecting anything from his environment and people around and suddenly someone comes into his life and push him with a belief, believe me, it can do wonders. Good afternoon, I am Dr. Sukhdeep from Samsung R&D, India, Bangalore, here to share my life experience, a tier 3 kid to a global innovator. So fast forward to my 12th standard with the pressure of cracking, engineering entrance exam was really immense. It was like a sword on my neck or you can say perform on a gun point. I was performing well before my actual entrance and my projected rank in JE exams was between 1500 to 3000. Finally, the day to perform came. I over attempted in overconfidence and I lost the game. After the exam, I was devastated. I locked myself in a room, literally hiding and crying for at least a week. My confidence was all time low, which got reflected in the further entrance exams. I ended up getting into a private university in Jaipur, while all my friends and batchmates were in top engineering colleges of the country. My parents never lost, lost hope on me. I still remember, I lost my bitset exam, which was last entrance exam. And I and my father were sitting on the last seat of the bus while returning to our hometown when he said, let it be, forget and move on. Truly, it settled a lot of trauma going around. I learned, if you cannot accept the reality, you cannot embrace good things waiting for you. While I was comparing myself with my friend and feeling bad, my mother came to my rescue. She said, when you wake up every day, think of one thing which you have to achieve in that day which will make you happy and this will make you a better person each day and prevent you from comparing yourself with the rest of the world. I lost hope in life but some, somewhere down the lane those three th sentences, one from my school principal, one from my father and one from my mother were still with me which really helped me to move on and with them I entered into my college life. In my college I used to find every other opportunity to do something off from the regulars but still I was not, it was not adding to the purpose and my career. I was uh, on a hunt to explore my passion. So I discovered my passion in networks through a placement talk by one guy. The guest speaker in my college used a term green networking, which is the only term I understood in the entire lecture. I went back to my hostel, searched about this word and kept reading more and more and more. This is how I discovered my career path and wrote my first IEEE conference paper in BTEC without any guidance. It's a lesson for all college students and techies. Catch the jargons daily. You don't know, you might find something which will change your life. After hunting my passion, I, was start, I started searching for internship abroad to progress on my career path. I got it through someone who was working in Samsung. He referred me to a professor in Korea. I joined the internship skipping my exams and that too on my own expenses. Thanks to my dad and mom who funded my internship despite of being in so much immense finan financial pressure. This is the risk I took which actually changed my life. And here I learned, embrace calculative risk taking attitude in your life. While it was just a two months internship, but it, it was a do or die situation for my career. My work attitude was actually liked by my professor and she offered me a PhD position. Yes guys, from a private engineering college in Jaipur to a PhD in computer engineering in top 100 universities in the world whose computer engineering is in top 50. But now with the limited knowledge and mindset, the pressure of performing during my PhD was immense. In all, I would like to give credit to my guide, Professor Navrati Saxena, who kept me on my toes and gave me the environment to explore myself and spread my horizons. 
She believed in me and made it easy for me to work 14 to 16 hours a day, taking care of my research, come teaching, come admin work of the research lab, which actually led me to explore my capabilities as a multitasker. My professor used to say, you are an average performer with the right attitude and my job is to use this attitude and make you a top performer. Here I learned one thing, believe in the people with the right attitude and move forward with them. They will definitely do wonders. This actually taught me one more principle in my life. If I grow, you grow. If you grow, then I grow. In short, the power of collaboration. Fast forward, I completed my PhD in three years. I was 25 years old then, becoming youngest scholar of my department in that time in Korea with a superior research award conferred alongside my PhD. I've embraced seven mantras in my life. Number one. I believe in you. Find those who believe in you before you believe in yourself. Number two, let it be, forget and move on. Accept the reality before you embrace growth. Number three, when you wake up every day, think of one thing which you have to achieve in that day, which will make you happy. And this make you a better person each day and prevent you from comparing with the rest of the world. Start your day with enthusiasm and end it with happiness. Number four, catch the jargons. One unfamiliar word can lead to a familiar purpose. Number five, embrace calculative risk. If it feels uncomfortable, it might be right. Number six, believe in the people with the right attitude. Skills can be taught, attitude can't. Number seven, if I grow, you grow. If you grow, I grow. Collaboration is the fastest success multiplier. With these learnings, I joined Samsung R&D Institute India Bangalore nine years back and currently working as their general manager. Currently, I am leading an open network innovation team which is developing AIML frameworks for ultra modern beyond 5G networks. We are a team of five engineers in India and two in Korea building this framework. In my team and beyond my team, I follow the seven mantras I talked about just now. Number one, I believe in all my cohorts, as everyone has a unique perspective he or she brings to the team and the project. Number two, we celebrate failures, learn from it, forget it and move on. Number three, I personally allocate five minutes in my bed every day to decide that unique thing I will do in the day which will make me happy and a better person each day. Number four, as the technology enhancement cycles are becoming smaller, we have embraced the culture of catching jargons. Number five, we often take calculative risks which helps in making our product stronger. After all, research is all about taking calculative risks. Number six, in my team, I look for a positive attitude beyond their capabilities. I am proud to say that I have guided close to 20 plus freshers straight out of college who have successfully written and published papers and patents in tier one venues. Number seven, Art of collaboration is the beauty I enjoy at Samsung as we foster and promote national and international collaborations. All this has led to 50 plus research papers, 60 plus patents, two books, award from Samsung headquarters CEO, 12 Samsung Excellence Awards, five Samsung Annual Awards, featured in Forbes, guest speaker in various IITs, NITs, IIITs, and top international universities like University of Toronto, leading international university collaboration charter for Networks R&D team at Samsung R&D India Bangalore, chairing workshops in top tier conferences. Last but not the least, guiding MS PhD students in IITs, ISCs, international universities, leading a team which has built first ever general purpose AIML framework for telecom and contributed it to open source community. And all this has led to 50 plus research papers, 60 plus patents, two books, award from Samsung headquarters CEO, 12 Samsung excellence awards, five Samsung annual awards featured in Forbes, guest speakers in various IITs, NITs, IIITs, top international universities like University of Toronto, leading international university collaboration charter for Networks R&D team at Samsung R&D Bangalore, chairing workshops in top tier conferences. 
guiding MS PhD students in IITs, ISEs, international universities. Leading a team which has built first ever general purpose AIML framework for telecom and contributed it to open source community. Last but not the least, joining St Stanford executive program in fall 2025 in their campus to earn another feather in my cap. So here is what I leave you today with my journey, my navigator and the results. Thank you.